All right, we have a nutritionist claims that the mean tuna consumption by a person is 3.7 pounds per year. So our null is what they are telling us, 3.7 pounds per year. Figure out our alternative here in a second. Uh, it says a sample of 50 people show that the sample mean was 3.4 Assume the population standard deviation, 1.17, and we'll test this at alpha of 0 0.02. So there's nothing that says, is it greater than or less than? Basically, we just want to see, is there a difference? And that would be an alternative of a not equal. All right, so let's draw a picture, draw a picture, draw a picture. So what we're looking at is... This nutritionist is saying that the mean is 3.7 pounds per year. We went out and we got a sample and it ended up right cheer. So I don't know, you know, I just draw this somewhere out here. Is this too far away or what? So what I'm going to have to do then is do my Z test where I'm going to take my sample mean minus the null divided by the standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. And when I do that, I get negative 1.81. All right, so I want to know is negative 1.81 too far? What could I do? Well, I could check find the p-value and check it against alpha 0 0.02. So get my nice little table here. Find negative 1.81 and I get 0 0.0351. Now, you have to be careful because that is not the actual p-value. And you're going, well, why not? Because remember, this is a two-tail test. Even though we didn't look at anything greater than, when, when I find this probability, which probably be a lot more to the left here, that's only this piece right here, the 0 0.351. Well, I need to double it because that's also that value. So doubling it would give me a p-value and they want you to round it of 0 0.070, which is greater than my alpha. And so I will certainly um, fail to reject. Remember when the p-value is greater than my alpha, then I fail to reject the null that there is definitely not sufficient evidence to reject the claim that the mean consumption is equal to 3.7 pounds.